Hi, I'm Lisa Adler. I'm co-artistic director of Horizon Theater Company and director of the play Detroit. Uh, Detroit uh, is a play that is about reimagining the American dream. It's about two couples who live next door to each other. Uh, one couple is kind of a, a traditional suburban couple. In next door into the abandoned house moves another kind of mysterious couple. Uh, they're younger and just starting out and the two couples don't know much about each other. Uh, but as it turns out, they're very, very different. Just spend a lot of time doing the things that you are passionate about. Follow your passions and the rest will follow. <laughs> yeah, but if you panic, and start to cut corners, then forget it. It's like building a house on quicksand. I think Mary and Ben's relationship is strained. Um, I think they're trying. I think they love each other very much. But life is hard. It's hard. He's out of a job. Uh, that puts a financial strain on the couple. It puts a financial burden on Mary. And it depresses Ben. I am a deadbeat. <laughs> no, but really. Um, I was laid off of my job at this bank. Uh, I uh, was a loan officer. Uh, <laughs> but they like laid everybody off. I mean, like literally, I don't know who was doing any of the work anymore. Uh, but I got like this halfway decent severance pay. And I could also get unemployment. So I am using it as an opportunity to start my own business. He's home all day. <laughs> so uh, we move into a, a house, it's kind of an abandoned house that's in a suburb, and we start to make friends with the next door couple who have a lot of stability. And the thing that Kenny is lacking in his life is any sort of stability whatsoever. I uh, live for the moment, and that's been really fun with some really dire consequences. <laughs> they say it's part of the process, feeling things. Letting your emotions happen in real time, rather than running away from them on that glossy motorcade of substances. Process? <clears throat> Maybe I thought we weren't going to talk about it. Kenny and I met in Eldridge Smith Tomford. Oh. Mm. What's Eldridge Smith Tomford? <laughs> <laughs> it's a rehab facility, honey. For substance abuse. <laughs> <laughs> play Sharon in the play and she is she is a wild child she's a product of a broken family has had to start her life over multiple times in multiple places houses condos even a hotel <coughs> uh, the house we were renting had a sewer leak okay. so yeah so the landlord put us in a hotel we've lived in a lot of places I would sum up her journey um, she has one of my favorite lines that she says is every day is a new chance to remake your life and to start over and try to be um, the person that you want to be. All right, so you all, the theme is white trash because I'm trying to own up to what I am these days. <laughs> 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 anyway, the Cheetos are always the first thing to go at a party, right? Even when they're sitting right next to the brief. So we have got Cheetos, saltines, a can of bean dip, mm. cheese whiz, and then she meets Mary and Ben, and they, especially Mary, is everything that she thought that she would be. Kenny and Sharon are free spirits. There's something about them that is spontaneous and uh, um, uh, wild. There's a wildness about them that, that is extremely attractive and seductive and uh, uh, makes me want to follow. <laughs> They are attracted to the things in each other that they don't have. Uh, the a couple that is younger is attracted to the stability. The couple that's stable is attracted uh, to the wildness in the other couple. From Frank, they begin to understand a little bit of what this neighborhood used to be because it's nothing at all like it was in the beginning when Frank raised his family here. We open September 19th, we run through October 19th. You do not want to miss it if you want to see amazing actors and great theater. And you can go to horizontheater.com or 404-584-7450 to get your tickets. Come see us at Detroit.